What is it? Assassin, I to you again. <laughs> I'm pregnant. I carried the beast's baby. Uh -huh. God, I thank you. I thank you for allowing me to be driven to this point. Thank you very much. <laughs> It's better you don't waste your time trying to stop me because you can't, my dear. <laughs> the last time that lousy dog raped you, I made him a promise. I told him, I told him I'll kill him. If you ever get pregnant, that is one promise I must keep no matter what. So, my dear, don't waste your time. Papa, please. Papa, please. <laughs> If you are a Papa, you will you will have my curbs in your hands. I've, I've agreed to become his wife. You have done what? <laughs> How on earth could Papa, I did it? I did it, Papa. I did it to have him save a wounded and dying man. He made me hold his manhood and swear that I will willingly marry him if he agreed to save his life. God have mercy. <laughs> Who is the fellow that you such a dangerous oath in order to help? Are you not aware that in the tradition of our Majara community, the implication of such hope is that if you fail to marry him as you swore, you will die instantly if you set your eyes on another man's manhood. I am aware, but what would you have me do? He lost consciousness while begging we save his life. He was bleeding so much from the injury, Papa. He was shot. Did you say he was shot? Nancy. Did you say he was shot? Where? Where did you find him? Along the Koroko Road. On our way back from the hospital yesterday. What is it, Papa? I, I, I shot an abandoned young man in the forest while hunting uh, along the same road yesterday.
Shot yesterday, Nancy. God, please don't let him die. But please give me a helping hand. To do what now? Papa, he needs a medical doctor's attention. We, we can't leave him here to die. Nancy, there's no vehicle to take him to the hospital. This man needs to leave this place this minute. I don't mind if we have him on our shoulders. Still stable, but he's in a very critical condition. Will he make it? We can't be specific on that because he's still in a state of shock and low on blood. Okay? But what did you say gave him those bruises on his shoulder and the laceration all over his body? We, we don't know. Like I said earlier, he came to us begging for help. And before he could answer our questions, he passed out. We don't even know who he is. Please, is he going to survive this? Well, because he didn't get medical treatment on time, the wound is badly infected. In addition to that, it seems he is heavily beaten. And he has broken brains and he's bleeding internally in three different parts of his body. And, and you say he will still make it? If he gets comprehensive treatment without further delay, he might likely survive it. That will, however, depends on what you do henceforth. For a start, he needs blood transfusion. We have only one pint of blood matching his. And that is what he's receiving right now. He needs at least five more pints to bring his blood level to the point that he will survive the multiple surgeries that he will go through. We have to buy blood to make up the difference immediately. Mm -hmm. Bye. Yes, please pay to the accountant so that we can go get it immediately. Excuse me. Uh, doctor. Okay. I, I, I want to donate my blood to him. Uh, me too, Doctor. Uh, me too, me too. Okay, no problem. Nurse, yes, please take them to the pathology department to undergo necessary tests. And please get back to me with the result as soon as possible. Okay, Doctor. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay, come with me, please. Okay. Where are you? 
Your results are out. And your blood is safe. A matches that of the patient. Oh, thank God. But you won't be making blood donations because you're pregnant, ma. Only you can, sir. No problem. No problem. I will do it. Right. In fact, I'm ready. I'm ready now. Okay, let's go. Um, the doctor said you can go meet the patient if you wish to. My colleague over there will take you to the floor. Let's go. Uh, okay. Here is man. Please do not touch him or do anything that will shake him. Doctor's instruction. You are an angel sent by God to save my brother Henry. And God instructed you to test us first. Please, survive and go back to God and tell him that we passed the test. helped you with the medicals and we will do everything required to see you back on your feet. <laughs> Did I just say that? With which money? <sighs> I don't even know what Afuma would do to me when he finds out that I brought you here. I disobeyed him. Without his backing, this promise will be meaningless. Meaningless. Friends have really embraced us. Tears become our own food. Lost everything and no sign of hope. Hey, our kids always said, God of the poor. Where are you? God of the poor. God of the poor. What happened? More blood than was medically safe was taken from me. And why would you do such a thing? Why? Calm down, Nancy. I was the one that insisted to take the whole blood they need to save that young man. But you insisted. Why? Can you take my home? The doctor said I need a good rest and food immediately. Take me home, please. Please wait. The doctor asked me to give you this. What is it? Further instructions that he wanted to give you. But because of your father's health, he couldn't. He had to write it down. Please, go through it and act accordingly. Nancy. 
Nothing, Papa. Let's go. Nothing. Papa, nothing. Let's go. Papa, I don't like this. I, I, I don't like this. Why would you let them take such an amount of blood? Look at how weak you look. But I'll have to be on my way now before Afonwa comes back. Nancy, please sit. Nancy, you have been hiding something from me. What is in the paper the nurse gave you back in the hospital? It is not important. Not important. And you reacted where you did when you first glanced at it. Nancy, my dear, I am your father. You can do better than lie to me. However bad it becomes, we are already in this together. I heard the not say we should act accordingly on the content of the paper. So even if it is something you feel you can handle alone, God see the minds, you bring me in. You bring me into the picture. Yes, my dear. Talk to me. Talk to your daddy. The doctor said he will not administer further treatment on the man up until we make a down payment of 100,000 Naira. He equally said that if no real treatment commences before noon tomorrow, he will die and there is nothing any doctor will do about it. You said it's not important. I don't know what to do. Papa, I really do not know what to do. You told me that you have no money. Besides, you've already risked your life by allowing them take an unsafe amount of blood simply because we have no money. I, 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 why, why bother you with such talks again? So, what do you intend to do now? You know, honesty, I don't know. But leaving that man at the hospital to die is completely out of it. Not after I have tied myself to living as a wife to that beast for the rest of my life. If that man dies, I may as well commit suicide. Oh yes, Papa. I will commit suicide. Wait.
this is 7,000 Naira. That is what I have. And that's what I say he might be. Take it. Papa, what for? Now see, I am deeply convinced that the nightmares I heard are not mere dreams. I don't know who that young man is or how he ended up in the forest where I mistakenly shot him. Or why, of all the people in this world, it was my own daughter who had to make such a huge sacrifice committing to that lousy dog for the rest of her life in order to keep him alive. Be my dreams, may I dreams or not. Do whatever you must. That young man must leave. Helping you to take him to the hospital. Donating my own blood. And this lousy 7,000 naira are all I can do in that regard. For Henry's sake, for my own sake, that young man must leave. I have no money of my own. I, I, I don't. I have nothing, nothing. Or else Afonwa gets involved, oh, Papa. Then we have done for him all we can do already. Then convince Afunwa to get involved. Do whatever you must to save that young man. Promise me you will. Look at me, Nancy. Give me your Promise, Papa. Thank you. Thank you very much. My God will be with you all the way. Go. Disobey me, eh? Kill and mama is You are your accursed father. You connive with him to, to, to disobey me. I said, ah. Friends have really embraced us. Tears become our own food. Lost everything and no sign of hope. Hey, 
wo. Yeah, todo todo. You said soup is finished. Huh? Yes. Okay. Um take this one thousand five um eight hundred naira. Hmm? Take it. Prepare another soup. But don't let it turn out to be tasteless like this last one. If you and your wretched family members are used to tasteless food, not me, have a bubble. If this one turns out to be tasteless, eh? I will empty it on your head. Don't dare me, oh. Take. Take now! Don't dare me. <clears throat> ah. Sorry for the last time. But this money will not be enough for making a sumptuous soup like you want. Yeah. Wait, oh, let me ask. When your useless mother was alive, that Ezopiam you call your father, did he ever give her up to 500 naira to prepare a pot of soup? Did he? Answer me, did he? Eh? Did he? Then do as I said and don't dare me. Wait, please. Uh huh. What? I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to bother you with this again. I was. I was giving this at the hospital. One hundred thousand pium. What is it? Why are you giving it to me? Please, Afonwa, let's save that young man's life. Please, speak on no. Please, let's save his life. Toro, Toro. Who is that young man? I don't know him, but he's a human being, just like you and I. And sometimes human beings need help, even from strangers. It is you and your cursed family that always need help. Not a favor, boy. Please, I don't like it when you curse my family. I don't like it. My, my family is not cursed. But they are not cursed, Afunwa. Please stop saying it. It makes me sick. It's time you use that word on my family. Eh, hey, then die. Die, Toro, Toro, die. What are you waiting for? Eh? What are you waiting for? Please, I'm begging you. My father had several dreams a night before last where some strangers told him to save that young man's life. Else, my brother Henry will be executed in... Malaysia, uh, please, for the sake of my brother, help us. Please help that young man save his life. Be kona fungwa, please. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, Toro Toro. Oh no, your father is a hunter. How did your father get to know about the injured man as at the time he said he dreamt about him? You say, your, your father, Onoha, is a hunter. And he has been frequenting the forest around the area we saw that young man. Toro Toro, are you indirectly telling me that it was your father who shot that young man? Eh? Biko, Biko Afuma, please, please, don't even go there. He didn't shoot anybody. He didn't shoot anybody. Toro Toro, you are lying to me. Toro Toro, you are lying to me. Is it not? My father did not shoot anybody. Look, look, look. If not that you are carrying my baby and he will soon be my father in law, I would have gone to report this matter right away. But let me advise you don't ever push your luck too far by taking up this topic with me ever again. Don't! Ubiam, nay back, or we can make a matter beyond the little because this is 300 naira. Buy malaria drugs for your father. Eh? Look at it! Take it! Hmm? 
have really embraced us tears become our own food lost every nurse you need to administer this medication to the patients in ward 4 okay i think you need some more shots i will give it to you Good morning, Doctor. Good morning. Good morning, Nancy. Are you okay? I... I just had a little issue, but I'm fine now. Um, Doctor, one of your nurses called me earlier and said that the man I brought has regained consciousness. Oh, yes, and um... Thank God. Can I see him now? Can he eat now? I brought him with bread and tea. No, not yet. He woke up with a appreciating pain. The pain is so intense that he, in order to save his sanity, we had to sedate him. I mean, he forced him into coma. Doctor, when you see sanity, is it going mad? Um, this kind of pain either kills or make them mad completely. Um, but we need to act quickly in order to save his life, okay? Oh, okay, doctor. Please, can I see him now? Oh, yes. I'm actually going to the ward. Let's go together. Hello. Is he dead? No, he's not dead. But one more of this trauma-induced seizure will either kill him or completely turn him into a vegetable. Hmm? Do you have the money? Nancy, as things stand now, I can assure you that what you just saw here, you know, might repeat itself before the nightfall today. Now, so this man is in grave danger and he needs all the medical support treatment we can give to him as soon as possible. Which are for the delays. Doctor, please. Uh, I, <clears throat> we, we will come up with something. I, 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 we will come up with something, Doctor. I promise you. We will get the money soon, please. And Nancy, this is exactly what you told us when you brought your father here for treatment a few months ago. And up to now, we've not received our pay. Doctor, this one is different. Please. Please, Doctor. No way. The only way I can change my mind here is if Mr. Afonwa comes here to sign another taking with me, that he will be the one to make payments. Else he will lose his bosses to me. And that has to be done before noon today. If not, I will have no option that to throw this man out of my hospital. Okay? Excuse me, I'm done with this. Doctor, please, please. Please, no. Try, please. Just need to. This man needs to hear that, please. Nancy, I am 
deeply convinced that the nightmares I heard are not mere dreams. I don't know who that young man is or how he ended up in the forest where I mistakenly shot him or why of all the people in this world it was my own daughter who had to make such a huge sacrifice committing to that lousy dog for the rest of her life in order to keep him alive be my dreams mere dreams or not do whatever you must that young man must leave helping you to take him to the hospital donating my own And this lousy 7,000 denara are all I can do in that regard. For Henry's sake, for my own sake, that young man must leave. sinking me deeper and deeper into trouble by insisting this. Everyone has threatened to turn our lives into a living hell through the police if I ever bring up the man's issues with him again. How in the name of God am I going to keep the promise you made me to say to you? How? One thing is sure. I will never stand aside and let that man die. Let the heavens fall if they must. I will save him. <laughs>
Elizabeth! Toro, Toro! Where did you take that briefcase to? It was you who broke into my room, isn't it? Eh? Where did you take the briefcase to? Eh? What is that? What is that? I I invoice. Invoice for what? It was issued to me at the hospital. I... I paid for that young man's medical bills up front. I, I, I took the money from this briefcase. Afunwa, I, I, I just couldn't watch him die. Please, I saved a life. Pikonu, I saved a life. Hey! Where is my money? Please, I'm not in this room. Money. Dr. John must refund my money. No, 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 no. This is why I hate medical doctors. They can finger a woman and send the bill to her husband. No. He must return my money. I cannot miss my boss. Hey! Hey! No, 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 no. Fun, Take your hands off the doctor now. Leave me alone. Whoever said that is a big Come on, you better say that. What did, what did you just call me? What did you just call me? Hey! Hey, get there! Is it you? What did you just call me? Oh, oh. Hey, get there! Hey, get there! Go on, just call the Igwe! Igwe! Igwe, I'll release him! You yes, want shut up! You want me to release him? I get there! Yes, I get there! So take this bullet out of my house until now! Yeah. You want me to release him? I'll release him! 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 This man is a madman. This man is a madman. He's a fool. So sorry, sir. Sorry. Let me see you here again. What kind of rubbish is this? Am I even going to report Dr. John to the police? Ah, say who died? Mbano. That will be leaving the substance to pursue the shadow. Uh -uh. Afunwa, are you that stupid? Nancy and her father are your problems. Yes, get at them, and you will get your money. That's true. Oh no, oh no, poverty. You and your daughter should get ready for me, because today you are going to fight the Adolf Hitler of Nigeria and Saddam Hussein put together. Oh no. And Nancy, your daughter, get ready because I am coming. And if you don't give me my money today, hey, well, hey, nigga, I'm going to touch one.
You heard everything I told you. Whatever he has now belongs to but a few because he forced you to agree to become his wife. True swearing while holding his manhood. He cannot therefore molest or send you away because you used the money you co-owned to help someone who is in need. Papa. You and I know that the tradition allows a man to do whatsoever he wishes on his wife, if and when he catches her cheating on him with another man. Afumwa can say or do anything just to humiliate us. What if he tells a lie to the people? What if he tells them that the man is my lover and he caught both of us if in bed? If he tries that, I will go to the elders and tell them the whole story. By raping you alone, he is liable to spend 16 days in the evil forest tied to a tree if we report him. Because of his sister's strength, we have kept that crime of his secret all this while. If he escalates this issue any longer, come back to me and tell me. We will damn the consequences I report him to the elders' council. Go. Go to him, my dear. Go to him. Go to Afunga, please. Go. Don't worry. My God will be with you. Go. Oh, my God will be with you. Both of you are inside this house. Ubiam Nagija, where are you? Job of Africa. Onoha. Thief, thief, thief. Onu poverty. Come out here. Come and give me my money. You ask your daughter to steal for you. Where are you, Onu poverty? Ubiam Nagija. Come out here. You mandate your daughter to steal my money. Come and give me my money. I am not your fellow mad dog. Mind how you call my name. Are you mad? Oh, oh, oh. Eh. Whether I'm mad. So after stealing my money, after stealing me empty with your daughter, you still have the guts to stand before me and insult me, isn't it? You are a mad dog. Get out of my house. Yes. Mad dog. Yes. Yeah, it's okay. You are a mad dog, I said. I will now show you how a mad dog reacts to insults. A mad dog reacts to insults. Stop. Stop. You're getting me. Stop. Stop. <laughs> You're killing me. You're suffocating me. Where are you, Oh no. Oh no, ha. Oh no, Oh no, ha. Hey. Oh no, ha. Oh no, ha. Oh no, is this a joke? Eh? Because I will have forgotten the money. Oh no, I will even give you fenty allowance if, if that is what you want. Because no. Hey! 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 Oh no, hey! Yeah, be good. Honey, honey, be good. Mary, my brother. Honey, honey. Hey, 
I didn't plan to kill anybody. I've not committed murder before. Hey, Oni, Oni, Oni school. Hey, I didn't plan to kill him. Because what do I do? Love or not? Because wake up, know. whatever you want me to do for you, I will do it. Oni, 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 If you don't know, this is not one of the issues you will talk or act like a miserable babu and get away with it. One wrong word or move, you go back to jail. Believe me. I'm, I'm sitting down. Okay, let me Let me I'm sitting on the floor now. Biko, please, I don't, I don't want to go back to jail for killing or no. Shut your mouth up. Mm -hmm. Don't you ever say that again. You did not kill Omoha. But I did. I did. I said you did not kill Omoha. Sit down well. Come put yourself. You know I was going to the police to report myself before I met you. I stopped you for a reason. Now, I want you to shut your mouth and hear me talk for once. Okay, okay. Sit well. Get up and sit down like a man. <laughs> Behave like a man. Good. Comport yourself. Mm. Yes. Okay. Now listen. Mm. You are my only brother. Mm. And I will not let you go back to jail or die on the account of what you did to that living dead called Onoha. Hey, at that least. Okay. Hey, what? And I'm all ears. I'm all ears, because. Eh? Yeah? But I want him to go back. You said that you took the cops inside, locked the door, and cleaned out all evidence from the scene before you left the compound. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful first move. Now listen. You did not kill Onwa. Hmm? Nancy. Did. I did. I'm not bullying. Will you shut up? Both of them started the event that led to this. And for that, she will suffer for it. Not you. Am I understood? Yes. So, so you how do we how present it? I am coming. Where are you? God of the poor. God of the poor. What's an awesome? What's an awesome? Where are you? God of the poor. Ever king. Now, this is 200,000. You go and get your boss back. By the time you return, I will have a plan on how to handle the situation. Okay. Now listen, you don't argue with me on this. Not again. Because if you do, I will withdraw my offer for help and allow you stew in your own juice over this. <laughs> now take this money, go and get to your boss. As I have said, okay. remember on your way, speak to no one, greet no one until you get your boss. Am I understood? Yes, yes. I am waiting. I feel my big one. Oh, kid, you are sad. God of the poor. 
The fool is dead indeed. You know what I told you to do? What is it? I feel forgotten. I feel what is your problem? Where is the rope? Can the rope undo the need for? 